Hey, it's Pasty Prime here, and welcome back to Farm Manager World, where we're continuing our first playthrough of the game, or whatever we're going to do with this game. I'm not sure yet. Um, do let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. So, in between uh, videos, I let this run for a little bit, little, did a little bit of tweaking. Um, mainly, I just adjusted some things. I changed the fertilizer over to manure because we were using um, this chemical fertilizer, which was costing us money. And yeah, we have lots of that coming in from our cows. And what else did we do? I can't remember if I had two of these or what we've got. One of the animals is sick, call the vet. Uh, okay. So we'll do that um yeah i'm not sure what we had there and didn't have there but anyway i didn't do anything major um let's just quickly go and sell our milk uh they have been doing updates to this game in between as well they keep sending out lots of patches and updates so they're definitely uh trying to fix things and improve things and make people happy um the other thing i think i did was Originally, the tutorial got us to actually pay more for wages for the seasonal. I actually just dropped that down, back down to mid. Uh, not sure if that helps or not. And... Is that still complaining because we haven't... Let me just check. No, I've definitely sold them out. Okay. Just as an updated. So um, it did get over the monthly value, as you can see there. So we're progressing. All right. So we are waiting for news on subsidies. In the meantime, find a favorable contract in the sale contracts tab. When you sign a contract, you are committing to sell a given amount of goods. And if you fail to do so, you face a contractual penalty. So be careful and choose a contract for the produce you already have. Completed buying and selling contracts increase your reputation and unlock new, more advantageous offers. Okay. So you want us to go here, in here, sale. Um, I have trout, but can I freeze it? I don't have any of this other than what I buy. So how does that help anybody? great let's get a playing I don't know if anything else happens what are you supposed to do if you don't find any favorable contracts that wasn't the spot Passion fruit jam. I mean, what? I I don't make that stuff. What do you want me to sell? So I don't understand it. So I mean, unless I just I fudge it, I buy some and then sell. Barley seeds. All right, let's pause it. Hang on. Barley seeds. They want 600 kg of barley seeds, right? Oh. 
got 3,000? What if I just buy? I'll just buy 300 barley seeds. Let's make sure it turns up. Well, it should be, um, uh, should I be worried that that offer will go away? Hang on. Okay, accept it. Why, what are you complaining about? Carp meat, trout meat, oh. I don't even know if we can get one, so, you know. We, we, we're trying. my barley seed, come on. Not three thousand. I only want six hundred, that's right. That's right, I didn't take the three... Th oh my god. Uh, I didn't take the 3,000. And why did I buy 300? They wanted 600. Uh, oh, no. Hang on. I need another three. Okay, so it's on the truck. Breed a new animal. Yeah, right, we've got the seeds. Complaining about something else though. Let's sell. God, we've got to get more trades. This just in from the office. You did it. You've received a subsidy of 200,000 whatever. 
dollars. You already know how to manage a farm and make money on it. Now we can get into farming on a larger scale. Well, chapter two, my very own tractor. All right, you have an intensive farm expansion ahead, you, but first take care of yourself by improving your house. Upgrade it to medium farm owner's house. Take a look at newly available training courses and buildings. Maybe you'd like to increase the employee limit. Try farming goats or plant flowers. Okay, so 50 grand upgrade. Oh, nice. Now, let's talk about farming goats. Oh, there's a medium. Can you upgrade? No. More pigsty. Oh, there's a medium. Wait, what's a shed? Oh, there's goats. Okay, it's a little bit longer. So I guess what you could do if you wanted to is you could... What does the medium coops look like? Okay. Start with... The cow shed's not one, it's quite a lot bigger. Complete the more auto trade training, then create at least eight tra auto trades, for example, to buy animal fodder or sell crops and milk. All right. Gladly, I would love to do that because I wanted more trades anyway. Why is it still complaining? 
Oh, gooseberries as well. Oh my god. Okay, hold your horses. Cows in this case. Okay, so you can have two in here. Let's hire you. Yeah, you're kidding me. Okay, I need another house. Now, can we shortcut this? Hang on. No, not garages. What? Social? I don't want this to look. Really, the best layout. for some better paths too. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get rid of those two. They ask to put something there if we want it. Okay, how often does this change? do 
is I am going to move Oh, he just did it. Okay. So, what was I feeding them for? Okay, so you can have double the amount of cows in there. Leave the four at the moment, but what I might do here Okay, yeah, that can, that can only be cows. get something different well we'll do the goats existing road. No. But they are instant, so it doesn't really matter. So, all right, let's get the goats. Wait, you can have 24 goats? Alrighty, what can you eat? Some grass? some sorghum so we want to want to buy some more we can buy a lot of little ones let's buy a couple more of those and let's buy 10 little ones I'm not going to fill that up that's a lot of goats and it's not a huge paddock but it, I mean, I guess goats are a lot smaller. And you do see a lot of goats living close to each other. Okay, so training is done. Alright, let's... Oh, here it comes our goats. There they are. Lovely. Alright, so I'm assuming we need goat's milk at some point. But let's get into our... Get down the wrong spot. Auto trading. 
So we have a lot of stuff that uh, is not auto getting sold. One is definitely milk. I'm going to sell that over zero. And then there's the, the meat. Uh, we have, yeah, we had carp meat, didn't we? Yeah, I'm not done, mate. You can move on, but I'm not. <laughs> trout. Well, that's frozen trout. Hang on. Now, at some point, if we work out if there's a way to just search uh, to freeze the product then we might stop doing this probably the only other one was the gooseberries gooseberries however you want to say it All right, there we go. Okay, now. Oh, what did I think we had sorghum? If soy. Okay, we'll do that. All right, get ready for your first big field. Create a 52 by 52 meter field. Choose grass as your crop as it is inexpensive and forgiving and select machine work mode since the field will be too large for manual work to be efficient. Okay. So we go to the map end here. 52 by 52. Oh, it's the biggest size you can do. Alright, so we've got, I'm assuming machine is going to be, yep, so select machine work, uh, you want grass, grass, okay, uh, nothing with that, okay, soon you'll be buying machinery, it's costly, so if you're low on money, you may need a loan, would you like some instructions on loans and leasing, sure, why not? To access loans and leasing, complete the bank offer training. Where is that going to be? So unfortunately we have to increase, we have to wait five days. died okay well I guess it happens one more day hmm 
I'm going to remove those. Now, these are being eggs. Hang on, let's pause for a sec. Eggs are being auto sold. Okay, so I don't see why I'd track. We didn't want frozen anyway. If these are auto sold, I don't see the point in tracking those. But what I'd like to track. So that's our gooseberries. Alright, so let's go and track pears. Because if we ever harvest them, I'd like to just instantly see. Uh okay, so you got bok choy and peas. Bok choy. And you got melon. So at least we'll know if they get half. What was in here? Hang on, sorry. Guava. Add that as well. You can always change all this later. Right, go to the manager panel under the economy manager tab. Top one. Okay. Take out a practice loan for five grand. You can pay it any time, and if you don't, the loan installment will be deducted from your account every month until you pay back the whole loan. Okay. So we could repay it or just leave it. I'm just going to leave it. First, you'll need a tractor. Basic machine that is useful for various field work. Open the machine market panel and choose a Riga tractor. Is it Riga or Riga, whatever. You can buy it or lease it if you have completed the bank offer training. Then you'll pay, it, pay for it in installments. Park it near the farm owner's house. Well, I'm just going to buy unless I can't afford it. How much is it? 45 grand. How much money have I got? 335. Okay. We can buy it. Oh, under the carport. There we go. Well, it's now a tractor port, not a carport. Seasonal workers can't operate machines, and it's better that unskilled permanent workers don't either, or the machines will break down faster. In the management panel, under the staff manager tab, untick the authorization to use and drive machines for all employees without the machine skill. Then hire an employee with the machine skill and grant them these permissions. Okay, we're under staff manager. Now, we shouldn't even have that because we've been unticking it every time we hired somebody. So that's already done. So we want to hire somebody with machine. Which there aren't any. So maybe we'll have to wait. Okay, there's one. Uh, he's cheaper though. Let's go with the cheaper ones. All right, to start work, you need a plow and a place to park it. Purchase a, a lily plow and build a parking lot. All right, how do we want these parking lots to look? How big are they? Okay, can't put it there. Could go over here. We could put them there. 
You could even go sideways. What about behind the house? Hang on, what are they wide? They're four wide. So we're just getting stuff out of this thing. 500 bucks. We're definitely buying that. Okay, I'll put that there. Have you noticed that you can also buy used machines? They break down faster, but if you don't use them much, this may be may not be a problem. Buy or lease an Esther cultivator probably should learn what these are so the lily plow clearly does plowing indispensable for plowing a field the lily plow prepares it for sowing or planting by cutting and turning the soil okay so it's got size dimensions how much power the condition Okay. Cultivator. This cultivator or rotary tiller type is used for loosening and pulverizing the soil in order to prepare the field for sowing. Okay. What do we got? Change the type of fertilizer in the grass field to manure, which you should have plenty of thanks to raising cows and buying and buy a manure spreader. Jeez, I gotta buy a lot. Six and a half grand. How much was that one? That's fifteen hundred. The manure spreader ensures that the field is evenly covered with the natural fertilizer whose mineral components stimulate plant growth. Jeez, like I've got a lot of money. Get a seed drill and use machines to sow the field of grass. If you need space for the new machine, build a parking lot or a garage. The ladder will give your machine some protection from the elements. Seed drill. The seed drill is used for sowing grain on fields that have already been ploughed and tilled. The built-in rotary harrow makes it possible to sow directly after ploughing. Another six and a half grand. Ah, oh, and it tells you what it can be used on, okay. So can you put things at the back? I mean, you can. It's weird when I look at it, I probably, it would make more sense to have it like that. You know what, or even, can I move these? Can. Because you would naturally want the tractor to come straight up and just attach. I've got these all backwards.
And this gives space for the tractor to pull up. I don't know which way that one is though. I think it's that way. All right, plant grass in the field. Now we just got to see if this guy will come. Here he goes. Whip de do. All right. We are right. Get your head out of the way. We're plowing. Look like normal speed. It was interesting when I started playing this, I got the vibe to check out uh, Farm Simulator. And I watched some videos of that and I thought, hmm, interesting, because it has all of these same concepts, but in a more advanced thing. And the one thing that was drawing me to the other game was that I had this attraction to this process of actually being in the tractor and doing that monotonous driving up and down. And I don't know, I, d I don't know what it's about. Like, I don't know what about it gets you attracted to it but I actually tried the game and I just felt it was way too complicated um, what I would love in this game and I don't know if it is something later would be able to actually take over the tractor and do the driving because it's the one thing that I was sort of attracted to the farm simulator I think it was 22 or 2022, whatever it is, game uh, after having a quick go of this one. But yes, I ended up not playing it or not keeping it because what is going on? Bok choy. Oh, we didn't pay attention. All right. We did do some bok choy. Yeah, it was one thing that I thought, oh, I'm going to try it. And then I went and tried it and I didn't quite like it because I, I liked that process. I liked the driving with a controller. You know, watching it cut down all the fields and whatever else and, and plowing and everything else. That was really good. You know, it was sort of like, you know, just sitting there driving the tractor. I just didn't like the rest of it. It was just very complicated. Like it was so, like, it's a great game if you're seriously into farming. But I guess I'm not that into farming. I'm a bit of a hack at like this, but, but I still would have liked that, um, I don't, know, I don't know what to call it. It's sort of a soothingness of, you know, cutting, mowing, whatever, you know, all that stuff. All right, so we're going to sell this bok choy. It's not a great price, but what are you going to do? Okay, so we are actually getting goat's milk in. So can we add... Because that's just going to keep coming in. Goat's milk, goat's milk, goat's milk. Wait, did I miss it? There it is. Goat's milk. Sell above zero. So is this now unlimited trades? So once you do the research, it's totally unlimited. So we could do, I don't know if the tutorial is going to want us to do it. We could do more. No, let's leave it. Let's leave it. Let's let the tutorial guide us. I don't want to. I'm so hesitant to do things outside of tutorials because I've got burnt by that before where I actually broke games because I did the tutorials and then it went, uh, not did the tutorials, like I did additional tasks or I did tasks before I was meant to. And then the tutorials broke. 
<laughs> and then I couldn't learn how to play the damn game. So it was like I had to start again. All right, we're cultivating now. We got probably a long wait. So you know what I mean? This whole process here. If I could just do that. Man, if I could take that over and just get a controller and just zip up and down. That's all I want. I just want that part of Farm Simulator. I don't want the complication and confusion of the whole Farm Simulator. I want a game like this where I can do the driving. So what's next? Fertilizing. So we should be getting our a manure thingamabobby soon. So we are definitely making money now. Now, do we get any extra animals? The animals are ready to breed. Call of it. So maybe we should buy some more cows. You know what, let's buy some young'uns. But if they're gonna breed, then we don't need to worry. Oh, we missed the fertilizing. Ah, damn it. All right, well, it's been fertilized. Now we are planting. We'll go mid-level. Because I'm assuming this will tick this off and we will move forward. Uh, we do have melons to sell too. Let's do that. Minus four. You know what, I'm gonna hold off. Well, that grew quick. All right, now you'll need a sprayer to protect the field from diseases and pests and a water tanker to water it. Well, we're definitely going to need a... We're going to need another one of these now. Right, so we need a sprayer. Field sprayer is used to apply pesticides to the field, protecting plants from harm. 20 grand? Holy cow. Oh, we could have put them in there. That's only a little thing. And that's 20 grand. And tanker. Okay, the tractor water tanker equipped with sprinklers that make it possible to quickly provide adequate soil humidity even for large fields. 3,500. Oh, is that a whole lot cheaper? Oh, that's bigger. Okay. It's a double wide. All right, we're waiting for the harvest. In the meantime, complete the expert ground assessment training to learn how to survey the soil.
Oh, okay. It's got these arms that stick out. All right, so it was deceiving. It looks small, but it's not as small as it is. It appears. Well, looks like we're going to spray a few times. I think that's deceiving that money because that's us spending buying all these things is it guava Graphic details of the animals is very good. The plants, they're a bit rough around the edges. I mean, look at the grass, it's very... But, then again, is that what we're here for? Okay, surveying soil is very expensive, but it will significantly increase the profits of new fields. Select survey soil in the bottom menu and click on the land to probe the ground the land any land 250 bucks to check the soil survey server i want to keep saying server survey results go to the layers view button on the left and select the soil parameters tab there you will see all the soil class its ph acidity and nitrogen levels the layers view also has several other options. You can use it to quickly find the buildings you are looking for or check employee satisfaction. Okay, soil class, it's class one. pH is good. Nitrogen is good. I'm assuming in this case one is better because it's green by colors. Happiness. Everybody's happy. We don't have organic crops. Electricity network. Fields. Okay, this must be for bigger maps because it's pretty easy to manage what you've got here. And building types. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty handy. New animals born. Okay. Got some baby goats coming in. I don't see them in the quantity though. Pretty sure we already had 18. Okay, what are we doing now? Is H? No, H brings up a menu. All right, how's your field of grass? Uh, buy a mower attachment, a swather, and a self-loading trailer and you'll have the complete set of machinery you need for this crop. Note that for harvest you will need additional workers, either seasonal or permanent, who will get the grass from the field to the trailer. Okay. OK, 
Okay, let's get the biggest one first. I'm going to guess that's the biggest, the self-loading trailer. Self-loading trailer collects mowed grass and transport to the warehouse. The grass can be further processed into silage, which is an excellent animal feed. 18,000. Yeah, I was right. That takes up the whole thing. Okay. Uh, a swather and a mower. We know what a mower is. The mower is used to cut grass, which can be later collected by a self-loading trailer. 11,000. All right, that's a single. So we could put that here. And then the, what the heck is a swatha? The swatha, also known as the wind rower or wind rower is used for raking grass, facilitating the collection of the crop. 10,000. So, I can put it there, or I can put it in here. You know what, let's put it... I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna always move it later. Finished. Uh, you will soon have a large amount of goods for sale and you need to handle shipping efficiently. Complete the large scale logistics training and build a logistics building. Unlocks logistics building. see them what are we up to still says spraying the love hearts for the animals are ready to breed again okay call the vet okay so we're moving on to watering definitely increased now maybe we had 16 well it looks like we're getting two each time so now we've got 20 now, I don't know what happens then do you start using their meat as well higher than it was but it has dropped a bit we had a better actual chance before we missed it but it's still higher than it was
Still 22 days left. Okay, if we don't buy any gear, we will be positive. comes this is harvest time for most crops and the last moments to work in the fields before the first frost sets in does that mean we're supposed to do something they're still growing Okay, we've got to construct a logistics building. I mean, that fits in there pretty bloody nice. say it does the logistics building gives your staff access to delivery trucks for faster resource movement between buildings what was our house doing because they've been loading stuff in and out of there all the time to a bigger house. Okay, let's have a look at it. So it's sort of got a silo. A storage, forklifts. How did we already get two? Oh no, I clicked on the wrong one. Uh, okay, delivery trucks. 75,000 storage. What do we have here? It's like 50,000. Uh, great. There's no one with logistics. Forklifts are going. Don't know what's going to go there, but. Well, we've got trucks going in and out of there. I wonder if it should have been on the main road. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're getting the trucks in and out. Well, we've got to wait uh, 10 days.
Oh, I see. Okay, so before we had people running and getting stuff, now we've got trucks going from here, dropping off to the warehouse or picking up to the silos, whatever, the barn. Right, so we've got, yeah, all right, all right, I get you. I guess that's going to help once you get a huge farm where the things are a lot further away. Six days. Oh. Call the vet again. Okay, so we got some P's. What's the P value? No, they're not here to sell yet. Oh, there they are. Minus 1%. Wait. We're cutting grass. Now do we get the swaffer? No? Oh, let me just look at the market here again. Ah, it's gone down. Oh, let's just sell them. Here we go. Got the swaffer now. Exactly sure what that's doing. Is it like scooping it all up, putting it in piles or something? Yeah, it's picking up piles of grass. Forty-three thousand. Well, thirty-three thousand. Sorry. Uh, we've got to sell five thousand. Hmm, not a good price.
There we go. Use newly acquired skills and machinery to start a new crop. Create a field on fully surveyed ground. The field will have the class of the dominant type of the soil on which it is created. Okay, do we want one? What? You want me to fully survey? What do I do as big as that? How much is that going to cost me? Forty-two grand. really annoying that it was not what is that spraying antifungal spray okay So you want a field that just matches and that's pretty annoying because you got these patches. As a crop, choose a European specialty, black currant, which will bring you big profits quickly. When you have the soil surveyed, you can modify pH and nitrogen to the needs of the plant. Set the ideal conditions for black currant, pH 6.5, nitrogen 100. You will need three new machines to grow black currants a broadcaster spreader for nitrogen and pH fertilizer, fertilization, as well as a transplanter and a box trailer. Broadcast spreader ensures that the field is evenly fertilized, providing the crops with nutrients that stimulate plant growth. So we can only use chemical for this one. Okay. Yeah, broke. What else do you want? Transplanter. 
Once the soil has been tilled, the transplanter enables planting saplings quickly with and with even spacing. The machine requires three workers to operate. And then a machine box trailer. I'm not going to have a space for this one, am I? A variety of trailers are used for transporting different kinds of crops. The inbuilt hydraulic tipping system simplifies the unloading process. Oh, I can put it in the, under the carport. Okay, hire four employees. Well, it uh, says I don't need to. Buy 10 blackcurrant seedlings. The fastest way to plant them is to use a machine. In addition to the driver, you'll need people to operate the transplanter. Assign machine use privileges to three available permanent employees or hire new ones, preferably with the plant's skill. seeds wait how many you want 10 pieces stop probably gonna have to stop there because we are running out of time uh yeah it just keeps going i mean it just it's easy to keep going that was my point but we're probably gonna run out of money too um i still wanted to hire more people Let's just stick with the two. That'll do. Uh, you want a repair shop. Training required. Machine repair. Alright, so what does it say? You have a pretty sizable machine park now. While you're waiting for blackcurrant planting, take care of machine repairs by building a repair shop close to your garages and parking lots. You'll need to complete the necessary training course first. You've got to have two garages. Well, there you go. I guess that will be for next time. So let me know your thoughts, opinions about the game, how I'm playing, and um, do you want to see more of this on the channel or not? Uh, yeah, I, re you know, basically, yeah, just tell me in the comments. You know, uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm enjoying it, but we'll see how it goes. Does it have longevity? This game? I don't know. There's obviously three other locations to go to, and I don't know what happens. Are you limited to size or is there an unlock? There's probably an unlock here to expand your 
farm out buy more land all that sort of stuff i would assume but i could be wrong but let me know your thoughts about the game and whether you're enjoying it and want to see more on the channel if you are enjoying the content please do consider subscribing hit that like button check out the channel memberships if you want to support the channel a little bit further and get early access to these videos say hi in the comments let me know you're watching i read all the comments and i answer them all as soon as i possibly can hopefully you've enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will catch you in the next one